Hey everybody, long time no talk, no posting. Uh, been kind of busy, I moved out of my condo into a house a little bit further out of the city. So I have some privacy, I have some grass, and a lawn to mow. Uh, just planted a bunch of chili peppers and tomatoes and bell peppers. And looking forward to having some good foods to eat. Um, oh, wait real quick. Let's see one of my little friends out here. Let's see if I can get it from here. Don't know what it is. Like a good sized crow with a little bit longer tail with brown wings and red eyes. I like watching the, some of the wildlife around here. I also get some like six foot long lizards walking around right in front of my house. Those, not so great, but anyhow, so. After the move, I'm finally getting working on my new grow room. I just had a 20 amp service installed and a 13,500 BTU uh, mini split air conditioning with inverter. And uh, the room is about 7 feet by 10 feet. Uh, some, it's going to be some storage, but mostly it'll be my new grow room. Uh, so, what I've been working on now, waiting for the air conditioning and everything to be installed, is the my grow room controller and this is it isn't it exciting looking uh, actually what we have here is we have it's an Arduino Uno uh, cost I don't know about $25 or so uh, I put it in a little plastic box uh, that hooked up with the USB can hook up to any computer the computer I happen to be using right now is called a Raspberry Pi a little bit bigger than a pack of cards. So I have the USB in. I have, let me try to move this, sorry. I have an Ethernet cable so I don't have to mess with Wi Fi. Don't have to worry about other people, you know, seeing what I've got going. Uh, I have an HDMI cable out to the monitor, power, and that's it for right now. I can hook up a bunch of other stuff. Oh, I also have a little wireless dongle for a, for a keyboard. This, oh, turn on the keyboard, hooked up to a screen. So, what we have here, minimize that. <coughs> this is the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I could run most everything without a monitor, keyboard, but just for testing, I use this so you know I can see information in, information out. Uh, right here, I have enter one through eight. It can say I hate clowns, but okay, fine. So I made to say that. Uh, what this does, I type in one, whatever I want. That sends it through the USB cable to the Arduino. The Arduino processes the information, jumps through the breadboard to different things I have, and the main object is to control eight relays. Uh, these will control like my lights, uh, my fan, a recirculating fan, extra, you know, oscillating fans. <coughs> uh, I don't know, auto top off for my for my SIP trays. Uh, these will also I can hook up just to simple timers. Okay, turn on at this time, turn off at that time. I can also have have it monitor like right here I have it's a DHT 22 it's a small temperature relative humidity sensor if uh, let's say my air conditioning happens to die and uh, the room is overheating I could say hey if it gets too hot turn off the lights uh, if the humidity is too high turn on extra fans to help dry it out uh, I'll probably have it ooh, at least two, maybe three, you know, one or two inside, one outside. If the temperature happens to be cooler outside than it is inside, could turn off the air conditioning and turn on a, a fan to suck more air in from the outside. I'm also thinking I, I found a, a place that does custom made CO2 monitors. And for, it's, I don't know, about 70 bucks, 80 bucks, something like that after import 
and shipping will probably be about a hundred bucks, but whatever. Uh, I may hook one of those up, and if the CO2 gets a little too low, suck in air from outside. And just, I don't know, playing with ideas. Anyhow, so, as I was saying, I type in on the keyboard uh, 1 through 8, this controls the relays. So, come up here, just in case you don't believe me. Sorry, I can't show everything all at once. Type in 1, enter. And back down here, hey, I have a relay on. Type number two. Number two, I get that three and four. One, two, three, four. Enter, turns off. So, that one, pretty happy with that. And again, uh, and uh, before for debugging, I had it. You know, I type in the number one, and it says, you type number one. The old state, you know, on or off, of relay number one is on. It's now off. And even show the binary, you know, byte, all eight digits for on, off, each byte representing a different relay. Um, also, okay, so I'm controlling things, but I also want to make sure that I can read things. So I put in, I type in W for weather tells me the relative humidity is 67%, temperature is 29.5 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels like 91.81 degrees Fahrenheit because it's so freaking hot and humid. Um, gonna also have time, T for time. Okay, time is 9.34 a.m. on April 29, 2015. Why you would want that for a grow room? Hmm, really no reason other than for data logging. Uh, maybe have it set, you know, record all sensors, you know, lights on, lights off, fans on, off, temperatures, and save save the data every one minute, every five minutes. Uh, can put it into Excel and make a nice spreadsheet chart so you could, you know, I don't know why you'd want Yeah, actually kind of interesting. You could watch uh, the CO2 levels go up and down, you know, with the lights, you know, with the, with the plants growing. I don't know, just kind of having fun. Well, anyhow, that's about it, guys. Oh, and I'm sorry, so this controller, uh, the Arduino is going to work more or less as a PLC. It does some simple math. It takes data in and out, or in from the sensors, out to the controllers, to the relays. And it does the, like the heavy lifting. And it can run, like I said, USB to any computer. And the plan is for the Raspberry Pi, that'll be the controller that will say, you know, it'll remember, okay, temperature's on at this time, or excuse me, lights on at this time, off at that time, fan on at this relative humidity, off at that humidity, blah, blah, blah. Uh, actually should, it can work on any computer. Like I said, I just like this, it's small. You know, the, the Raspberry Pi costs like 30 bucks, the box, the, the cool little acrylic box is like $10. The Arduino is like $25. The relay board was, I think, like $10, which I may make my own Edison Triax or MOSFETs or something, make it smaller, make it silent, so you don't have to hear click. But actually, it's kind of cool for working on it. You can just listen. You don't actually have to look at the lights. Uh, but, so... It's starting to come together pretty fast now. I got the bare bones now. I just have to. I think what I'll work on next is the the data logging on the Pi. Come up with some Python script. Oh, well, just having fun. Uh, I was hoping to work on the grow room today, except the girl took her car. It's kind of hard to go pick up Unistrut for making a frame for hanging the lights on my motorcycle. I've actually done it before. You know, it's really weird. I live in Thailand. I'll see a family driving down the road on a little. 80cc scooter. It's got mom, dad, the little kid, and the baby. Honestly, I've seen it with the family dog. I've seen it with a kitchen table. They carry everything on little motorcycles. I drive down the road after I bought a shovel with a shovel on my back. People look at me like I'm from another planet. But then again, I'm like three times their size with colorful tattoos, and that's pretty rare. 
Oh, wait. Real quick before I go. Ah. Strapped in. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, isn't this sweet? Uh oh. It's springtime. Ooh, a little wild bird porn. <laughs> oh, cool. Bonus for YouTube. All right, guys. Have a good one.